A while back, I introduced you to a company called Sol Digital. Haven't heard of them? <laughs> I hadn't either. So last year I decided to give them a try and I reviewed their fine art prints and wall decor. They do prints on various fine art papers and durable surfaces like metal and canvas, and they have museum quality mounting options for all of it. I have my mounted photos from them hanging in my bedroom, and I love them. <laughs> the brand is about the quality of the print and the product, and it shows, both in the wall prints that I've shown you in the past, and also with their photo books, which is what I wanna show you today. Sol Digital wanted to collaborate again on their professional line of photo books. So I said, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I've been recommending Sol to you all ever since we worked together last year. Everything that I've used from them, all of the experiences have been wonderful. So of course I wanted to work with them again. And a photo book seemed like a timely project because right now, more than ever, I am missing the places that I'm accustomed to visiting. I'm skipping some trips that I was hoping to go on. So until the world is back to normal again and I'm taking lots of new pictures of new places, something that has mattered to me more than ever is preserving some of those great times at some of my favorite places <laughs> in different formats. And creating a beautiful book of one of my past trips seemed like the right fit. Now, books of my photography are nothing new to me. Many of you know that in September of 2019, a small group of viewers and I went to Yellowknife Canada for an intensive photographic study of the Aurora Borealis. I had produced a book at the time. It's currently an ebook available on my site, but the photos from this trip seemed like they would fit perfectly with one of Saul's professional book styles. This is the book I chose. This cover is fully enclosed in acrylic glass and the pages inside glow and shimmer, pulling these images right off the page. I hope my filming here does it some justice. Seeing the Northern Lights in person was a one of a kind experience, but seeing the images in a format like this it brings back the feels in a big way. And it has me thinking about the next book and the next trip and really what a wonderful gift this type of book would make. I'll definitely be making one of these for my parents. I'm thinking for an anniversary, like family photos through the years. I hope they aren't watching this. One thing I've never done before is ordered a book that can lay flat with the images truly spanning the divider. And now that I have, I'm hooked. <laughs> I didn't feel like I had to pull every image across the page. It's definitely a nice centered divide when you use the two images, but for those very special images that warranted the super widescreen effect, they came out just as I wanted. You may know that I'm picky, especially when it comes to art products. Many items have come in and then out of the studio without a review because of that pickiness. This book, the packaging, it all comes together. And while I'm certainly biased towards the Aurora Borealis, for those of you who aren't quite as crazy about it as me, <laughs> I think you will find that your favorite images will look spectacular in a book like this as well. The pages are thick, the binding is solid, and this solid acrylic cover, they, they all work toward a unique and premium feel. And even the box is robust with this beautiful ribbon pull strap. <laughs> I just don't feel like they cut any corners here or tried to take cheap materials and make them feel expensive. One thing that I was concerned about because time is always of the essence for me was that the ordering process might be tedious and require a lot of upfront work. For the books and other brands that I've produced to date, I have dealt with templates, Photoshop actions, and more trickery to get a PDF file together. But with Sol Digital's site, it truly was drag and drop. What this means is that from the time that I had the images pulled together to the time that I had the book ordered, it was very quick. There was nothing arduous or tedious about getting the book together as a part of the ordering process. Overall, I would say that this book maintains the same premium quality and construction as the mounted prints that I had previously showcased from them. I'm a fan. <laughs> really, I'm a fan of any brand that is willing to put value engineering aside and truly focus on the overall construction and appeal of the item rather than simply try to make it look that way. 
Their prices are reasonable for the overall quality and the materials that they offer, and they may look expensive compared to some of the online discount bookmaking shops, but Saul's work is a cut above what I've seen from many of the others. I mean, if you want 500 prints, you may shop around simply for the lowest price, but if you want a smaller, more focused collection, I would definitely consider Saul Digital as a high quality brand worthy of, you know, your best work. <laughs> and I know that I've shown you some fairly big pieces, large wall hangings, this pretty fancy book, but they do have many other options for prints and books, so I will link you to them in the description. Now let me ask you, are you a digital only person? Or like me, do you sometimes like to preserve those images and memories in more tangible formats? Let me know down in the comments. And if you are one who will order books and prints, let me know where you've gotten them and what was your experience like? In the meantime, I'm already thinking about that next book and maybe not just an ebook this time, but perhaps something that you can get your hands on as well. So thank you to Saul Digital for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching.